Hello everyone, my name is Walter and welcome back to Breaking Bad Season 1 Episode 4 uh, So where we left off, uh, I felt that you know Walter White wasn't going to really tell his wife that he's cooking meth But rather he's going to tell her that he has cancer uh, So yeah, with that said, uh, let's jump into this one Okay Operation Icebreaker How are we looking at? We never used that before, do we? Isn't that the name of a breathman? What? <laughs> Icebreakers, right? Breathman? Who needs to be thinking that? Thinking about some big ass ship in the North Pole breaking ice. Says you. I'm gonna be thinking Operation Breathman. I'm thinking Operation Breathman every time you and me are on a stakeout together, all right? Breathman like a buzzard off a shit wagon. <laughs> all right. Operation TBD. Thanks for nothing. Anyway. Say hello to Domingo Giardo Molina, a.k.a. Crazy 8. Way smarter than your average cheese eater. I turned him out when he was street level, but this dude's like the Jeffersons. Moving on. Every small time dealer he'd throw at us, he'd end up snaking all their customers. Now it turns out that he's missing. He's in dead. Found his car uh, out in the boonies. Last guy he ran it out was none other than his uh, cousin, Emilio Koyama. You thinking the cousin found out and took revenge? Could be. Turns out he's missing, too. And normally, I'd say someone did the world a favor. But our snitch's car. Turns out we find two grams of meth in it. We take it to the lab. They come back. They tell us it is the purest they've ever seen. 99.1%. I mean, our chemist is blown away. He said he couldn't do the same thing better. Worse yet, it didn't come out of some super lab in Mexico. We're thinking this was cooked right here in the land of enchantment. Car was abandoned in what appears to be a uh, cook site. This is the uh, only other thing left behind. We're sending it off to Quantico, see if they can pull something off it. Meantime, our guys swabbed the filter element and found the same 99.1 meth. So be on notice. We got new players in town. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know who they are or where they come from, but they possess an extremely high skill set. Personally, I think in Albuquerque just might have a new king. Bro. 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 Jesus, Wall, you're burning the shit out of him. Damn it. Hey, Sky, you got any more chicken? Emerald here is going to need a fresh pack. Bam. All right, looking good. Is this low fat mayonnaise and coleslaw? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Hank, you need a little beer? Love shit in his hat. Here, I don't think that he does, Hank, and I think everybody would like it if you'd stop saying it. Marie, some more wine, maybe? I'm all right, thanks. Hey, I want a beer. Yeah. I want Shania Twain to give me a tuggy. Guess what? I ain't having any either. How about some more soda? Huh? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you need anything? What are you doing, man? Come on. No. What, are you kidding me? You look like a damn movie star, man. Girl's gotta be lining up left and right. How long you looking at you? He's adorable. Like, I don't wanna be freaking adorable. He wants to be hot. Anyway, you see what I'm talking about? It's a female perspective. She's supposed to say that? Look, the guy didn't gotta look like, uh, you know, Charles Heston. <laughs> I'm talking Moses Dicks. To get a girl. Alright? <laughs> you just gotta have confidence. Confidence and uh, and persistence. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Chase your Aunt Marie here all over creation. You know? Kept bugging her for a date. She kept saying no. <laughs> well, I asked her like 50 times. That was before they tightened the stocking laws. 
Anyway, how, how about your dad here? That there's a good story, Walt. Tell him how you met Scott. Mom was a waitress in Los Alamos, and Dad said that thing to you. Well, actually, your mother wasn't a, a waitress. It was a summer job, and uh, she was the hostess. And she also worked the cash register. And I used to go in there a lot because it was close enough to the lab where I could ride my bicycle. And once I noticed her, it got to be so that I would only go in when I knew she was working. When it was slow, she would lean against the counter doing her crossword puzzles, but, but kind of hiding it, right? pretending that she was still working. And once I caught on to that, I would do crossword puzzles while I ate my grilled cheese sandwich. It got so that every day at lunch, we would both be doing the New York Times crossword puzzle 10 feet from each other. And uh, <laughs> eventually, I caught her looking over at me. So I began saying, excuse me, um, 14 across, seven letter word for what you would call it. Uh, what, what you wrote down, and, uh, well, and then got us talking, and, uh, boy, I tell you, I was, I was terrible at those puzzles. <laughs> I don't think that I finished even one of them, but your mother would do them in ink. Very smooth. <laughs> Bet you didn't think your old man had it in him, huh? But that's what I'm talking about, that's persistence, you see? Once you set you cap for something... Or somebody. You gotta just, you know. Whoa. Sky. Um. Are you alright? Hey. Hey. Right. It's okay. What's the matter? <laughs> hmm. What is it? Ask him. Hello. I have lung cancer. What is she talking about? Walt? things together. I mean, I don't get, you know, lung cancer? How could that happen? You don't even smoke. You know, I'm thinking that this goes back 20 years, maybe, to the applications lab. All those chemicals they had you working around. We, we always took the proper precautions. The one time you complained about that, that they didn't give you the right kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of ventilation hood or something, and, and, and then the, the headaches. This is just, how do they think they can get away with this? <laughs> We should hire a lawyer. Okay, so first, let's deal with this. Yeah. Okay, so what's the next step for Walt? Certainly Nothing. a second opinion, right? Right. Right, absolutely. Okay, so first thing tomorrow, I talk to my radiologists. We find you the best, the oncology dream team. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go check on little Junior. I um, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into having him joining us. I really didn't want to find out that way. Okay. Walt. Whatever happened. I hope this goes without saying. Whatever happens. I want you to know that uh, I'll always take care of your family. Thanks, bro. Thanks, boss. Thanks, bro. Oh shit, they're still there? Yo, check out these uh, fake pop tarts. These are mad tight, yo. Oh, thanks, man. Pass. Your loss. These are from like Canada or something. Imported. Hey, yo, what happened to your hallway, man? Uh, did you like the ceiling fall down? Or... Oh, yeah. Uh... No, man. I think the house is just settling. You know, it's been caving in left and right. Hit me in the eye. It's bananas. Yo, my pops could fix you up. He's like a contractor or something. Huh? Yeah, well, I should have grabbed that number. Say hi, Jesse. You still cook a little crystal? Uh, could be, yeah. You know, from time to time. I heard you lost your partner. Emilio. Didn't he get locked up? No, man. Uh, he's out. His cousin built him out. I think he skipped town or something. I don't know about any of that. I've just been kind of doing my own thing these days, so. But you, uh, maybe got some crystal, man? So you got some crystal? For right now, you know what I'm saying? Take the edge off. Hell yeah, Sunday night bowl, yo. Uh, what you, what you want? Uh, it just so happens that I just recently cooked the best batch ever. Yeah? Oh yeah, came up with this whole new recipe. It's more like a formula. It's like way, way more chemically shit. You know, it's it's just the bomb. So you got some man? Well, I, you know, I don't know. I, I've been thinking maybe I just stay off of it for a while. Cause lately, it's been kind of making me paranoid. So, hmm? dude, they want they want it. Like, like health wise, just lay off. Yo, if you're uh, if you're not in the sharing, man, just tell us to piss off. It's cool. You don't need no soap opera. Yeah, man, whatever. No, no, no. It's all it's all good. You know, I I'm just saying. Bro, uh, what yeah, what I you got, said? I got plenty of pot. Yeah, I think I'll bounce, man. Yeah, sounds about right. Hey, yo, yo. Hey, Holmes. I'm joking. Okay, I'm totally joking with you. You kidding? Sit down. Best Dante ever. Grab that pipe. <laughs> Random old ladies. One thing I want to understand about math is like, how can it become glass, you know what I mean? Like, crystal. Yeah, they want, they want more, man.
What the fuck? It's probably an apple or something, I don't know. Don't do math, kids. Son. What? <laughs> Again, don't do math. This is why biology and chemistry goes together because like if you know your chemistry you, you should know your biology as well because bi like chemistry takes up your biology as well. What the f... Just for a checkup? Whoa, 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 just for a checkup? What's that, just a story? Tell me what I already know. Well, he's not in our HMO, okay? It, so be it, we'll figure it out. Come on, don't get hung up on that. You here. fucking bitch. We, we can always borrow from Hank. Absolutely. More math.
Sun sit down. Come on. Stand for the top, man. It's best to kind of keep her head up and just, you know, truck on and you know, we you don't really wanna concern people with your issues. Tampico, yeah. So where did the money go? <laughs> Better slow down, man. so much yeah let's go Understand where they're forcing you to choose between the piccolo and the ogre. You showed so much promise with both. They say they can't have a switching between woodlands because no matter how they divide it up, someone will be left out. Well, rules are rules, I guess. Sure, rules are rules. I'm all for that. But I'm telling you, you really shine on that ogre. You have real talent, and I'm not just saying that. Thanks. What about Mr. Pemberton? Is he giving you enough individual attention? I have to say so. He tries to talk to each one of us at least once during every practice. 
Well, that's good. Feedback's important. It's key, I think. Hey, so how was soccer practice? So, why are we here? Oh. Cause the cause the Vangpen, right? Jesse, yeah. What's his name? Who's there? What the hell are you doing out here? Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Jake. Got new patio furniture. Right on. Hey, my leg. Okay, I get it. That was pretty funny. Oh, the humanity. Or the humanity. Humanity. What is it, like gaze going past or something? Nah, just like from day to night. Got nose on my nose. I don't know. Uppers, downers. I guess it's as good as mine. I think we should check this out. Can we let him stay? The Presbyterian Church has those meetings. So, maybe on condition, you know, if he agrees to attend. I, I just don't know what to tell Jake. Wash those clothes if you like. They look a little lived in. Oh, um, that's cool. Maybe later. We are not doing this again. Um, no. We said we'd lay down the wall. We lay down the wall. We just have to be consistent about it. Mm hmm. Taking the bus? Hmm. All right, well, listen. Um, maybe another 20 minutes and we'll get out of here. All right. All right. Yeah, good. Junior, I'm scared. You know, I, I just think that uh, 
I'm scared. Things have a way of working themselves out. That's a nice idea. Kinda, sorta, maybe. No, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, this is awkward. You cut the wow. tension, man. Did you, uh, did you get this? Last May at the year in December. They gave me that one too. Environmental Consciousness Award. What does that mean? Why you like, recycle cans and shit? I contacted the Albuquerque Journal and asked what kind of chemicals they used to bleach your paper. They want to bring work over. Right on, little bro. Making mad inroads with the business community. All right. Now, hey, remember, not all learning comes out of books. Easy. Yeah. We should we should hang out more often. You know, just uh just kick back and chill. Whatever. Jealousy. Thy name is Cain and Abel. Yo, I think I think well, for real. Yeah man, you uh I never had a pillow. You play the flute? It's a piccolo, actually. Dude, play some uh play some Jethro Tall. Scumbag work the mind of a favorite son. I'm the favorite? Yeah, dude. Yeah, right. Whoa. Practically all they ever talk about. You know, <clears throat> that's one of the problems when you put too much expectations on your kids, like, academics. Look at that, his, his drawings are awesome. He could have been like a comic book artist or something. Look at that, that's so detailed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just a different guy, I guess. Listen, you know that uh that product? You got any more of that? Oh, man, 
got this cousin. He's got him some rich friends. These dudes are in town. They're looking to partay. And your stuff is like so sweet. So what do you say? You up for making some fat stacks? Stop by everything you got. I'm up. Obviously. Put it in your pocket and go. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited till the ball buster left. Mm. No offense. Huh? Hey. We're in a wire? Jeez, you're setting me up? Homo. A wire? You want a wire? I got a wire. Speak into the mic, bitch. What the hell's wrong with you? A wire. Jesus. So who did you tell him about? What are you nuts? Then why are you here? I need to make money. I don't know. It's like touch base. Touch base. <laughs> touch base. Yeah. The you fuck. Know, um, you call a brief. You could the brief. The brief. Wow, that's. That's what you think we need to brief? Yeah, I mean, after what happened, it just seemed like the thing to do. Kind of, you know, talk about it. And we can't, we can't talk to anybody else. Anyway, to that and I wanted to, uh, wanted to tell you how much everybody digs that meth. Digs the meth. The M. Say them. Seriously, my God. Dudes, I'm going to take their left not for a little more. Right. I'm just saying, I mean, if you ever... I mean, saw your way clear to, um... You know, you and I... Cooking a little, a little more. <laughs> Don't come back. Now. Alright. Alright, you know what? Four grand. Your share. I'm selling that batch. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, I didn't smoke at all. Well, please salvage the money. <laughs> Takes a scooper, yeah. Non small cell adenocarcinoma. Stage 3A, which means it's spread from the lung to the lymph nodes. There's no denying it's very serious. But it is it. It is curable. I prefer the word treatable. But the treatments we have at our disposal can be very effective. Without making any promises, I can tell you that the specific course of radiation chemotherapy I'm going to suggest has been successful. In certain cases, it's prolonged the patient's life and even result in remission. Um, but what about the side effects? Well, they can be mild to practically non-existent. Well, they could be pretty darn awful. It varies from patient to patient. Typically, there's hair loss, which begins a couple of weeks after the start. Makes sense, because it's chemo. You may find yourself unusually fatigued, not much energy, or want to get out of bed. You may lose weight. Due he looks to like an alien. No, you know what he looks so like? Pains, he looks like the, the, um, yeah, those, like, the weird, like, other dimension people from Twilight Zone. That's why they look sick. Yeah.
Yeah, it's mine. What do you know about that? Nothing. Well, that's not gonna fly this time. How many chances are we getting you? How many times have we sat right here and had the same conversation over and over again? Where you look us in the eye and you plead ignorance and you play on our emotions and you tell us anything and everything you think we want to hear just so we can give you another chance. And it makes us feel like fools every day. Well, don't give me a chance then. Enough, See ya. Just Is she really reading that? Facing cancer. You know, this is actually very hopeful. Did you hear me? I said this is really very, very hopeful. So, can I call them and, and tell them we'll start next week? Nope. How much would it cost? We need to discuss it. What is there to discuss? The money uh, side. Get the best treatment. Mm -hmm. He's the best. Well, there's the money discussion. I think ninety thousand dollars out of pocket, maybe more. There's a way, Walt. There's financing. There's um, installment plans. I, I I could always go back to work. Walt, there's always way. All right. It's got to say that. There is a way, and we spend all that money, and I don't get treated. Am I supposed to leave you with all your debt? No. I, I just don't want emotions grueling us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Treatment isn't the way to go. Then why don't you just fucking die already? <sighs> just give up and die. What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is a weird family, guys, man. gonna oh shit I knew it What? I got 
the fuck? This guy again? Ah, I swear to fucking god. He's gonna steal his ride. Yeah, he is. Oh, of course, he's a chemistry teacher, so... And he's a chemist, though. Well, wouldn't you notice the smoke? Oh, no. Okay, so uh... Okay, so uh, that was a weird episode actually because the, the um, son and all was like pretty awful and the mom as well uh, all around, I'm getting really, really distasteful tastes of their, of his family, uh, and you know, I, I want more things for Walter, maybe because he shares the same name as me, <laughs> but also, you know, he's he's a good guy, he's a kind guy, and you know, a lot of people are like, no, nah, the, the the nice guys rule don't really work in the world today, and I'm like. Well, shit. If it doesn't work in the world today, then like, why, why be kind at all? Like, what the fuck? But like, I choose to be kind because I believe in that, that notion that you know, nice guys will get something in the end. But anyway, uh, that's my point of view. Uh, if you guys don't want that point of view. I guess uh, all power to you. Uh, and I guess you know, um, nice guys always finish last then whatever uh okay so that's about it guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in the next episode